Okay, then let's open our first part. Here we go. So, first step is to select the machine. I'm going to select Micron. Post processor is automatically selected. Heidenheim. Setup. Machine coordinate system. And let's say no indexing, just three axis machine. Then let's define our stock. By default, Camox is creating a so-called bounding box. You have the option to choose a sketch, STL file, or even a SolidWorks file to define the stock. Want some extra material? Just go here and add extra material in the requested or required direction. Just confirm. Next step. Camworks can automatically detect so-called two and a half axis feature, holes, cavities, bosses, etc. Well, let's just say this is okay and extract automatically those features. Now Camox is going through the analyzing the geometry, extracting the features, going to the TechDB uh, technology database to create operation with the correct strategies and generate toolpaths. Here we go. So all the two and a half axis feature have been found and we have a toolpath. Now what we're missing is actually the cavity, which is a three axis machining geometry. So let's just go to our first setup and right click and I say insert new multi-surface feature I have different options to select the faces but I'm going to select face by color here I can see all the color used in that part and let's say we want to machine the gray area and with Z level strategy this shows what is currently defined in a database for this technology. Say OK. Right click and generate operation plan. Camox goes in the database, create the operation, I right click again and generate the tool pass for the graphing operation. Now we see the entire part has been machined. We don't want that. So I double click and edit the graphing parameter and under the advanced tab I can say, OK, don't go to stock, go just to the outer silhouette and stay on center. I say, OK. Here we go, we have our roughing. Let's do the same thing for the finishing and just say outer silhouette and center. And let's go on preview first to check whether it's right. Okay, but we don't want this type of machining. We want this to go down, let's say, in spiral. So instead of selecting just Z level, say helical. And since uh, we have different angles or slopes here, we're gonna select variable and flat and just say 1.5 as an example, minimum cut amount 0.5. And on a flat, more flat area, we select the maximum step over. And let's say, OK. Generate new toolpath. So in the process manager here, you can see actually the progress and you could work on your part. You don't have to wait for the tool pass to be uh, finished. Here we go. So now it looks much better. We still have a slight problem. We don't want the tool to go down into that hole. So how can we fix this very easily? We go into 
SOLIDWORKS and insert a field surface. Just select the edge and contact, let's say, tangent and say OK. Now you can see Camo stays or the toolpath stays within that surface and doesn't go down at all. Now let's say we want to do this always that way, so we have an option to save this in the database and we say save operation plan, create a new feature, new, and we can call this. Uh, three axis cavity as an example apply the size for that uh, new strategy just the dimension to to limit that strategy uh, and here we go so next time i would create this uh, all i would have to do is recall this from the database. Let's just do it quickly. I delete this. When deleting the feature, of course, the operation is deleted as well. So let's go back here. I insert my feature like before. I select colors, gray one, and I select here the new strategy I just created. Say OK. Now generate operation plan. Generate toolpath. So you see it's correct the first time. Let's do the same here. Generate toolpath. Takes a bit of time. Okay, here we go. You can see I just created this very quickly. Next step, of course, is uh, simulation. And verification. Green means we are on, on target. And the part is finished. I'm ready to generate the NC code, uh, post process. So remember it's a Heidenheim so here I'll see actually the code that is generated